Hey guys, it's Erica and welcome back to the Patreon. So a lot of you guys commented on my post saying that you guys were rather beginning to go into an ultrasound program or currently in an ultrasound program. So I thought it would be perfect to create a video on study tips for ultrasound school success. So this right here are my tips on um, ultrasound school success and study tips. But if you have a specific course that you are struggling with, I would love to make a video on that. So let me know down below. And these are my generic tips. So my first tip is to read the chapter or the PowerPoint ahead of class. I don't know how your school works, but we did um, some lecture stuff. We did some stuff online and it just required us to rather read a chapter or they had a PowerPoint already given to us that we were going to go over that day. And you would have it um, at least a week in advance or you would have the whole thing before the program ever started. So if you have that access to the PowerPoint or the chapter that you're going to be going over that day, make sure to do it ahead of time because what that's going to do is keep you from being confused during class. A lot of times they're speaking so fast and you can't catch up with them and you're kind of like not understanding what they're talking about and you really don't want to raise your hand or ask questions a lot of times. But if you had already read it ahead of time, when you get there, all it is is really explaining to you what you didn't quite understand when you were doing it alone. And it's just a great way to kind of emphasize what you already learned and make it stick and make you understand it so much better. Number Number two is to take notes during class but rewrite them later. I talked earlier about how it can be so hectic during a lecture session and how they could just be talking so fast and it's hard to catch up. So catch up with what you can and write down important notes but go back on your own time and really rewrite those notes, go through it, add to it and make them notes that you can really study from. So number three is to practice what you learn. This is great when it comes to ultrasound because you can go ahead and scan each other. Um, I don't know what type of access that you have to a machine, whether it's just in clinic or if you have a machine at your school or however it is. This is also a great tip for physics because what you can do is when, as you're learning the different types of like the buttons and what they do, the gain and the amplitude and all these different things, as you're learning those things, you can play with the machine and see it work. And this right here is gonna really emphasize and make things stick for you. If you're learning things in anatomy, like if you scan this way, this happens. If you scan that way, this happens. Go ahead and do that on your friend and see it happen. And this right here is going to make things stick so much better. So make sure as you're learning things in the book that you're practicing it in real life. And when it comes to test time, it's going to be just so easy. Number four is to play games. <laughs> Playing games in ultrasound school is just awesome. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to learn about the abdomen and all the different organs. Then just go to Google and type in like abdomen labeling game. And that's going to help you when it comes to labeling the different parts of the kidney, um, the different low of the liver all these different things you just play games people get on there go to google um find these different anatomy games and just go ahead and play matching games and just different games and it's going to really help you and make the anatomy portion stick for you so much better so my last tip for you guys is to use flashcards ultrasound school is a great place for flashcards because a lot of it is going to be asking you questions that a flashcard could help you with so things such as signs of down syndrome and things like that where you might have okay these are all the signs of down syndrome like it might be different types of um, things that you might see um, like the flat nose and things like that on one side and then you flip it over and it says down syndrome or what is trisomy 21 and you flip it over and it says down syndrome so um, I think it's an awesome um, way to study is use flashcards because a lot of things and a lot of disorders and things in ultrasound have different symptoms and if one side has symptoms and the other side has the abnormality then that is an awesome way to study you can use it so many different ways and yeah flashcards are awesome in ultrasound school so those are my study tips for you guys if you guys have a specific course that you're struggling with in ultrasound school or maybe a pre rec or something like that let me know so I can see if I can dedicate a video to helping you but that is it so make sure to comment down below and I'll see you in our next video bye guys